Hey guys, it's Hayden, and if I sound kind of weird, it's because I'm losing my voice. It's been a very long week. So today, I am doing the second half to last week's video, which isn't really a two-parter. It's just kind of like they go hand in hand, I feel like. So last week was how to handle school, and this is how to de-stress after school. So I'm just going to give you some of my ways that I de-stress and maybe you'll like some of them. High standards here. First off, I think it's good to involve yourself in some extracurriculars that you really like because that does add more onto what you're doing, but it adds stuff that you would hopefully enjoy more than school. Um, like, you know, choir or theater, that's what I do, or like a sport or robotics or clubs, anything like that, gymnastics, something that you do and you have a responsibility and commitment to, but it's not like school where you hate it and you just want to go home. So um, I think that definitely helps add some kind of like fun thing. In. The next suggestion is to form hobbies or like figure out your hobbies. So it's something that you don't have to do, you're not required to do, but you enjoy it. You just like purely enjoy it. Like I like to play the guitar and that really helps me kind of decompress. Or um, if you like to paint or you like to go on bike rides, something like that where it's just completely for enjoyment um, and you can do it whenever you want to just kind of de-stress, get your mind off of things or sometimes helps you think clearer for what you have to do. Um, but yeah, figuring out those things is like really awesome. Third, I think it's great to keep a running list of books and movies that you want to read and watch or TV shows so that when you do find a spare moment or you really just like need a second to just do something other than homework, you can read a little bit of that book or watch the movie or anything like that and just like immerse yourself into that world and enjoy it and um, not have to like fully use all your brain power for something. Or hang out with your friends or family or anybody you enjoy being around. Hanging out with people is awesome and fun and you can do something fun or you can just hang out in your room and talk and that is, it's great. It just, stress just poof. Fifth suggestion, take a bath or a shower. <laughs> I mean, I know a lot of people are like, baths are weird or they're boring or blah, blah, blah. But they can also be very relaxing and you can like watch Netflix while you're in the bath or like, if you just take like a long warm shower or something like that. It's just nice, it's just, it's just a moment to yourself. I enjoy them at least, so. What can I say? I think the last thing that's really important to remember is to do everything in moderation. Have that nice balance. And sometimes it can be a little more than the other as long as it doesn't feel too overwhelming. And so it's just like, if you get some of your work done, reward yourself and do something that you really enjoy and that takes your mind off of it. And then go back and you'll feel a little bit more refreshed to do more work that you have to do. And, and I, I don't know about you, but with me, when I get work done, it, it takes some of the stress off because I've been doing what I need to do. So, um, balance, balance is key. I think next week will be funnier. Who knows? I don't know, but you should stay tuned. You should subscribe for more videos. Um, tell your friends, share it, tweet it, Instagram it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below something that you do to de-stress and compress. I hope you have a good rest of your week and I'll see you later. Bye.